Good morning and welcome to the number one audiovisual radio station in Kenya. Based radio. My name is Agisa Patience and I'm so glad to be here on this beautiful Monday morning, though where I come from and even where I work. It's so cold and I believe it's also the same in your place. But I hope you are keeping warm and you are um, doing well. Based Asbuhi is the program The Reason Air and we are live on Facebook with the issue yeah, based as Buhi, this first segment where we discuss a lot of things, especially in the relationship front. So it's on Monday, and um, <laughs> we have a very interesting conversation today. There's a, a lady, when you are now, Uliza, if the guy is overreacting because the husband wants to leave her because Alimpata architects another guy romantically. Alikuwa uh, anam, anam, um, anam, anam, and I'm text romantically, though how Jawai meet. So she's asking, is the guy overreacting? And she's also seeking um, um, for your help. So you can make me understand, or you can help this lady uh, through um, 0785552553, or better still, you can comment on Facebook. And and um, let us help this woman. My question is, this lady. How do I meet na whom say the first thing they have never met? Because wana ungea tu. How do I patana? And and the guy wants to leave her. So what if wange patana? What would he have done? And this is just a small picture of what we go through each and every day. We are human beings, and much as you are married or in a relationship with somebody, there's somebody who will see you and they'll be like, wow, this is the ideal woman. This is the woman I love. And, and they start hitting on you. They ask for your number. Nowadays, we give out numbers so quickly. I mean, you're not even giving out a wrong number. You're giving your real number. Because maybe you're also tired with your, with your person. But however, when somebody asks for your number, you give the number and then um, you continue uh, having the conversation uh, with this person. And I can see somebody is complaining about uh, our volume. I don't know. But uh, I don't know, my producer will check on that and then he will tell us whether it's okay or not. But I uh, thank you so much for the concern. So I was saying there is this um, lady, Anataka Kuachua, with the guy because apparently we don't say Alimpata Aki have conversation. Na mtu mwingine, aman. Na mtu mwingine, aman. <laughs> with another guy. Though how do I meet, but the guy now wants to leave this woman. And the woman is asking, is this man overreacting? Is he overreacting? Because our Japatana and, and um, Murivi is actually saying the guy should understand her. <laughs> uh, Yusuf, thank you so much. I hope we are now good. And then Takida is saying on air from Mombasa Pony, good morning, my lovely sister. Good morning to Takida. And I thank you so much. Now, this idea of... Um, we checking on our partner's phones before you find out that i'm cheating or before you think that um there's something going on you have to have snooped and checked my phone why are you checking my phone are you are you a are you are you these applications that i use why are you checking my phone because the moment you check my phone it means that there's something you are looking for and you will get it and I think that the guy got it. Right now he's so mad he wants to leave. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? Why are you why are you checking my phone? Are you sure if I check your phone, I will not get the same same thing? You know, we ask ourselves these questions. Why are our partners' phones so appealing? Usha ikuwa na simu ya mututu. Ukotuna ameacha po simu aba unajua password yake. Ina kuwasha washa. So unaskia siji wangalie. The moment utap. Angaleyo simu. Utajua we, muko wane, muko watano. I saw another meme saying that I checked on his phone and I even found his uh, marriage certificate. Now, speaking about um, marriage um, certificates, you know, a marriage certificate is something that shows you people legally got together. Now, you think you're the wife and somebody has a marriage certificate. 
with all these kinds of, of things going on, why, why, why would you be so sad when I check your phone? And even if it's about being sad when I check your phone, why are you checking my phone? I can see Arnold. Hey, by the way, Arnold, I miss you so much. Good morning. And thank you so much for tuning in. Akasema, why are you texting romantically? The guy is texting me romantically, so I have to respond. You look good, baby. And some oh, you sure I look good. You also look handsome. So when I say you look handsome, is that romantic? <laughs> or I'm just responding to um, your message the way you told me. But for something to qualify to be romantic, it means there are certain words or it's 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 a bit kuna venye tu munaongea. Nika mini kwa mbe, ah, good morning, ah, good morning, Vin, how are you doing? That's not romantically. But I'm like, oh, good morning, cute Vin, how are you doing? Oh, you're looking so good tonight. Your voice is so nice. That is romantic. You know, we have been fashioned in some way that kuna certain words to not na wapua wetu. But in any case, you find that iyo neno enye natumia na mpua wangu, natumia na mtu mwingine, now you start questioning. You start saying that, no, why are you sharing my, my, my words with somebody else? Why are you doing this? But the unfortunate thing and the most unfair thing is that you are complaining, but even in your phone, you are doing the same. Nivenye tu sija kupata, umenitangulia kunipata. Niki kupata, it becomes a problem. And guys, I know you won't like this, but it's so unfair. The way when a woman akipatkana tu, akiwa na have an extra conversation with somebody else, especially a man. They start saying, oh, you ni H-O-E, who you sijui anafanya nini, who mwanamke, wanawake, and then you generalize all women, wanawake are squeezing your buyer and all that. But again, if a man is doing that, you'll be like, oh, men are naturally polygamous. What do you mean you're naturally polygamous? You're also sharing my stuff. That thing between there or what we have is supposed to be for me and you. But the fact that you're sharing with somebody else out there means that you don't respect me. And I think we need to apply equal measures. So this issue of men are naturally polygamous. I think it's just a word, but when it comes to reality, it hurts more. It hurts. Imagine ume, ume kahapo, ume jichunga. People are coming to you with many advances, monetary opportunities, sexual everything. They are coming to you. But because you know ukona baba nani, or you have your guy, you don't even kubali those things. But yeah, yeah. I show a nice cat TV. Eh, hey, nyakandito, you look so good. Eh, where are you? Can we have a conversation? Can we eh, get get some cup of coffee together? Okay, muna kunywa coffee. Uko sit na kula ugali managu Monday, ugali terere Tuesday, ugali sijui mchicha Wednesday. Thursday. Yani, you guys. But sometimes, sometimes I need. I think you need to cut us some slack. Like, Namtu rumi because muna tu tessa sometimes. Muna tutesa. Kama uyu, ona anataka tu kuwatch waju, alikuwa na text mtu romantically. That is flirting. And you guys, you said, flirting is normal. So they were just flirting. They have not met. They haven't. Pat, uh, Peter Pascal is saying that men will always stray. It's biblical. That's how it is. Okay. Takida is saying that hakuna nyota uh, yandoa apo because huyo dem ha yuko faithful kwa huyo jama. Utakuwa na boy, tari alafu, bado unachat na bongine kiromantic. Now, what if it's the guy who is chatting romantically? Because sometimes we have to reciprocate the same energy. O kujune mbefe nye mini mrembo. O kila siku na mkanga uki nisikia, unasikia vizuri. O you tell me the way I walk, you like my body. There's just some way, even if I don't want to, even if I don't want to, I'll have to respond. The moment I respond, that is when my partner catches me. That's when they catch me. And you know right now, we every axe is beating on this woman. Because, But ingekuwa a man, trust you me, we will be saying that all men are polygamous. Even in the Bible, Abraham had a, a haga, but she, oh, haga, haga, but she, he decided, um, had Sarah, but kabidi apate mtoto na haga ju Sarah and girls akuza at that point. Mutasema, oh, sijui, sijui nani walikuwa na bibi wengi, I mean, you, you'll find everything to crown and to validate all that is going on. But the woman, what is with the woman? Sometimes you depict women as very evil, but I think you don't sit down and understand the whole scenario. It's like when somebody is cheating. I am not cheating alone. I'm not cheating and unless I'm doing it with these toys. But if you are doing it with a normal human being who can breathe, who can... Um, erect who can have 
those feelings that person is also equally cheating and the measures being applied to me need to be applied on that other person for, for fair judgment. But now we always look at the woman. I know naturally a woman is supposed to be a modest person. She is supposed to be, to hold her things together, yeah. But if she's doing a mistake, especially cheating, she's not cheating on her own. She's cheating with somebody who potentially could be somebody's man or is somebody's man. I'm confused. So we need to to have some some seriousness when we judge a lot of situations. And then Madeli is saying that, um, Madei is already saying that, kama alikupea marriage certificate, una deserve kuenda. Lakini kama bado muambie ulikuwa bado soko, unatafta certificate. Oh, Madei, that is true, by the way. For you to say that you are married to somebody, you need to have something that can show we are married. Are we? Kuna easy stories that come with stay. Come, we stay at the talking stage, but die. Let us come and we stay. If we are in a come, we stay situation, you are not married. We are not married. Ujapeleka ata miwa kwetu. Ata, ata kuku ujapeleka. And you want to leave me because I'm talking to somebody else. Go, my friend. And sometimes we need to sit down and understand why are we together in something, but this other person is going astray. You need to check on yourself as an individual. Because some mistakes you want is our twingine, but ukikahivi chini waze kujiangalia, you find you have more to contribute to whatever is happening. So you need to sit down and check on your conduct as an individual, whether you are a man or you're a woman who your partner, ama mwa wacha gware gware ukonje. So you need to check on yourself. Are there things you are not doing right? Are there things you are not changing? Is there something your partner wanted you to change or to try doing and you haven't done? Sometimes to our partners are our prefects. Wako tu apole. Adi unafil ni kama anaku suffocate. Are they suffocating you because they want to or are they suffocating you because there's something you need to do? You know, sometimes um some of us are gifted. Sisi tunakuanga apo tu kuambia mse, ii mwefanya vibaya, ii fanya vizuri. But the moment you keep on mark timing somebody, they feel like uh, maybe you don't have something to do or there's something you want from them ama unawapimia. Little did we know that we are making a good man or a good woman for somebody else. So ukifunzo, funzo, ukiona mtu ako so much on your back. Sometimes it's for the good of you and your future children. Maybe even we will not settle down. You and I will not be an item, but I'm preparing you for your partner, your woman, for your man. I was saying that um, we need to sit down and check. Check on yourself, umefanya nini. Also check on her. Nitabia akonayo, nitama akonayo. Is it friends who are actually uh, destroying her? Is it tama? You know, after you you find out something, you need to unafa u go through a lot of things so that before you make a decision or before you 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 make judgment, you are making a very sound judgment. Sometimes we jump into issues without um doing enough research, and then the day we decide to start um doing research you sit on and you're like oh i wish i had checked this beta i wish i had done this and this i wish i had even consulted them so we don't need to have regrets in future when you can actually look into an issue deep and deep and 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 um sometimes it might cost money it might damage our emotions it might a really try our faith and patience but if you want to find something make sure that you are patient enough and you think in 3d because for you to text somebody romantically when you are married and especially coming from a woman and you guys say and it's also true for a woman to start attaching themselves to a man mostly there's some bit a good percentage of her emotions ziko uko by default ata mimi sai sai tunaongelesha hapa hivi Mimi too, upata tu ni maza konge na mtu. Oh, I can love you too. <laughs> I'm just laughing, laughing there. I'm sending to to love emojis. Uh, some even go ahead to send nudes. I'm sending those to funny, funny pictures. There's some attraction I have for this person, and they're giving me that attraction, or or I'm actually reciprocating what they're giving me. 
Set tu ni mamka na nika decide bwa cha nite yum to beb. It doesn't work like that, especially for women. There has to be some emotional connection, or there has to be something this guy is giving them that you are not giving them. So again, you need to sit down and check it. And you, woman, why are you doing that? When it bibi amtu, where we ata sit down? When it bibi yamtu, antaka kukuacha. Jamani, uyo mse, unajua sometimes atujui kama alikuwa ako serious ama alikuwa tu ana flat. You know men, um, they can see you and then they ask for your number. They just liked how you were walking or they liked your dress or they liked um, what they saw. So they will communicate with you in relation to what they saw. And that's why there was a real we did yesterday on it was on Friday. How, how do I think yesterday was Friday? About men. Men would like to sleep with you because of how you look like. They'd like to talk to you. They'd like to take pics with you. They would want to go outside with you because of how you are as a person, how you look, your, what they nourish their eyes with. But when they sit down and then they have a conversation with you, or when they do their research and then they find that uh, whatever I'm ordering is actually not in the menu, they kick you out. They will do that. So sometimes this person wouldn't be, um, that sometimes that person wouldn't be talking to you because they like you, but they're talking to you because of the picture you posted online. You're showing some theories out there. Men love theories. They will check it. And then this girl would always want to have a conversation with you because of those theories. And sometimes they think when they ask you, they will you they ask you for the theories you will give them. Sometimes it's because of the tires. Sometimes you are shaking a, your, your body. And they'll be like, oh, look at the morphology. Look at how she's shaking. So they are attracted to what they see. They are not attracted to you as a woman. So you believe, unaona umse anakufraisha kabisa. So unaza kumungilesha. Umethau ukona buwana. Now, when this man comes and checks on your phone, or sometimes they just message to in a pop-up, when you are busy cooking chapo, or when you're busy showering, and then they see, they're like, mm-hmm, this person has been doing this. So, uki patkana hapo unashtuka, because one, you'll have to be reprimanded through actions. It's, that's why some men even go physical. But ile kulizwa, unajua ile akunanga kitu inatisha sana, kama mtu may find out kitu, uku wajua anaweza find out. You're like, wa, hamejuwaje, nitafanya nini? Oh, ni. you see, that the moment you start um, regretting by, uh, by impulse, hapo ndo akili huwa inarudi. But inarudi, na huyu mse ameona, maybe it's a conversation you've been having for quite some time. Anaona akuna haja. Mini ko hapa na ngangana nenda kufanya bid or I'm here with this woman every day. I'm struggling. I'm fathoming a lot of nonsense from her. I'm taking care of her, the family, and I'm also trying to be a good man. But she's doing this. Why can't I let her go and enjoy the life with this other man? Now, where will my actual? You are going to, you are telling this man, this man will ask you, Kwani hauna password kwa simu? Mbona how do you keep conversations? Ulini serve kama nani? Now you see such questions. When they start, um, wakisha kuruka, is when you sit down and you're like, where? Enyewe apa nilitupa mbao na randa. So we need to think, we need to think. As much as I'm a woman, and maybe I wouldn't like saying this, but there are some things that are just masculine. A man can juggle between three relationships, or four, and they'll be okay. But a woman, Kuna moja atapata attention most mgini atakosa. Mutu akigundua ukona ena uyu mgini uyu mgini, watazia kukwita iyo jina inazanga na M. So you are there looking like a very bad woman. But you forgetting that you are also hooked up with four other men. You see, so we need to really maintain some modesty, especially as a woman. Kuna tabia tu fulani unafaa ukwe nazo. However, we also need to understand why somebody is behaving in some type of way. And this is what I usually say. When you see something is not working, when you see things are really not going the way you had planned or intended them to, can you have a conversation? Sit down and talk to your person. Tell them, uh, what is going on? Or tell them, but the way to make sana, but I really don't feel confident. I don't feel man enough. My voice is not respected. So it's either this person amue, I could respect, or awachewe ukwe mwanaume in that relationship. Ama ajaribu ku change. Or kama hawezi ku change, muachane. Or this woman who is behaving as if she's not married, anze kukachini aseme nyo mini bibi, 
and you know, my friends are not married and sometimes the advice they give me is not good and you know, i've been doing this and this and it's not modest can i change but again if you don't have if you don't speak up at um you don't speak out during early stages now when they reach to a point where somebody has some emotional romantic emotional connection or is developing this connection with somebody else the damage is already there correcting this thing itakuangum and even if you correct trusting this person is also going to be an issue takida is saying mwamini sasa anaegaramia ni mwingine na wanaokula matunda yanapo hiba vizuri ni mwingine Atibasi yeye dem atakuwa afikiri anapendwa kiromantic kwa sababu ya nguo uzuri shape kwa sababu anangarishwa na boy wa kwanza and it's very unfortunate by the way somebody is investing in you but somebody else is eating you or is consuming that investment ni kama tu uko na maembe mtenda ushago december mtaona Muko na maembe, hiyo maembe imeiva ama avocado ama miwa. This this sugar cane flani tu inakwanga. I don't know how even parents know that that's going to be a sweet sugar. Nasema hiyo miwa mtu asikate na hiyo sayo ndio ulikuwa unaenda panga. Usikate hiyo miwa ndogo. So wewe unaendanga hapo kila siku unaiangalia ukiwa na maji unamwagia mbolea. Alafu utakuja tu siku moja upate hiyo miwa hakuna. You will feel so bad because wewe umekuwa unamwagilia hiyo miwa or ulikuwa unangoja hiyo miwa iko maendo iliwe. Lakini kuna mtu alikula hiyo miwa kama bado hata <laughs> haija kama Peter Pascal is saying I like that passion you are one of a kind thank you so much of the team is just listening to you I really really do appreciate and then Sami Mwanja oh I'm going saying that I'm I guess so I'm following you from Eldoret Asanti Sana Daddy is saying guys don't waste time a lot to slay queens thank you they think you are desperate just because she has been seduced by other guys achana na yeye cause you are not that desperate okay about being desperate being desperate i think we have two types of 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 being desperate one is when you are truly in love with this person have you ever been in love with a person until you're like i mungu um to see a change to you want this person to change so badly you want them to understand you you want them to be on the same page with you you're not desperate because of who they are or what they bring in but you find yourself being desperate because of how you feel about them okay you feel when you're with them you are secure you are confident everything about you is going to be okay when you are with these people or around them but again these people don't feel the same so you are always there trying to push them you are always there trying to encourage them you are always there trying to show them the path you would like them to follow so that they can also make you feel the way you are feeling wana ku make you feel i don't know if you really get me unatamani umse angekuwa in your shoes ajue venye unampenda unatamani umse angekusho to even an inch even kidogo yeah they love you have for them but ana so anakutusi anakugobanisha they cheat they tell you to your face that you are so desperate or you are mean they tell you everything but because you love this person you are always there so we when you hopeless romantic now we have this other desperate yenye unafaa tu kuona tumia akili yako ya kuzaliwa lakini hiyo akili umeweka kwa miguu uko chini hakuna kitu unafanya unaambiwa madharau au mpendi lakini tu unaka tu hivyo tu like unaona hapa haiwezi mapenzi hakuna pengine unaweza kuwa unaangalia pesa ama unaangalia future future yenye hata present akupe so you are just there so stop being desperate if you are desperately in love it's high time that you understand that some things will not work but again if you are desperate for that person to love you if they are not willing to change they will not change but if they want to change they will change now for this woman um before i finish the conversation one thing she needs to understand is that she's a woman society will judge a lot both men will judge her because this other man knows that she has somebody Adam wana kama a very loose woman so you have a lot to lose than the man has 
And that's what I usually say. If it's cheating, let the men cheat because they will validate it. We as women will also validate the reason as to why they're cheating. Society has reasons as to why they're cheating. But a woman maintains some modesty in you. However, when it comes to a point where your partner feels like they are cheating or you feel like your partner would potentially start to cheat, then have a conversation. Put an end to that because cheating ni kama kujikuna karibu na kidondo. Have you ever had a wound and then when you prick yourself up a kando, unafukuanga na some sensational feeling. So you want to kukuna kuna hapo. So that is like a habit. Once you start it, it is not um, really going to stop. It's unfortunate. I'd like to finish the conversation though. Thank you so much for all of you who kept me company and sent your feedback either through our WhatsApp number that is 0785552553 or on a Facebook base radio's Facebook page. My name is Agisa Patience. On behalf of my producer, Alex Miner, do have a lovely day. I can see Stephen is saying that if you are having such conversations in romantic way, so it's better you quit and go to him. I cannot entertain him at uh, entertain that at all. Yeah, of course the man is not entertaining it. That is why he would like to leave the relationship. My name is Agisa Patience. Do have a lovely day. Catch you tomorrow from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. right here on the number one audio video. Visual registration in Kenya. Best ready. Good morning.